jump to the sky turns to a rider kick. Hey everyone, I'm Colonel Garuda, and today we're taking a look at the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Extreme Chomping Spinosaurus. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm not really the biggest Jurassic Park or Jurassic World fan in the world. I used to be obsessed with it when I was a kid, and I especially started collecting stuff when I was in high school, like the old Jurassic Park toys made by Kenner. Apollo Geist, how do you know so much about like Jurassic World Born King, okay, well, you bought a bunch of the toys for tell me for the dinosaurs and figures and vehicles. You loved it. But then you saw the movie and you were disappointed. After the disappointing movie, Mattel kept making dinosaurs year after year. Yet, they hardly gave us any vehicles or places to go with them. You were very disappointed, and you got brought out with the franchise. Now starting things off by taking a look at the packaging. We got the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous logo right here. We got the name, Spinosaurus, Extreme Chomping in multiple different languages. We got Toro the Contour, and some of the kids from the show. Shows the action feature with the chomping jaws, which you can do right here. And in the background, you got this really nice scenery of presumably the place itself of Camp Cretaceous. It's just really gorgeous. And here's how it looks at the back of the packaging. As you can see, there's a lot of multilingual text on the, on the box, as well as a nice shot of the toy, and two others in the line so far. Now it's time to take this out of the box. Okay, and here we have the Spinosaurus unboxed, and I'm going to say that this is really impressive. Now, this actually isn't the first time Mattel made a Spinosaurus, because I believe back in 2018 in the Legacy Collection, they made a Spinosaurus with a different color scheme with this one. It's the same toy as this, but had a different paint scheme and had darker colors. Unfortunately, they had limited stock on that, and that became something that got scalped like hell on eBay. And then a little while later, they made a blue Spinosaurus, that had a battle damage feature, and the same thing happened to that. That was supposed to be a Walmart exclusive and had limited stock, and now it goes for extreme prices on eBay. And this is the most recent one that they made, and hopefully this one will be easy to obtain compared to other ones. And the way I found this guy was actually at my local Walmart, and I work at a Walmart currently, and I was just doing returns, you know, like putting items back on the shelves of, of stuff that companies didn't want. And then I saw this. And I just had to get it. I hid it behind some other toys, and then after work, I picked it up, and I have no regrets purchasing it. Starting off with the head sculpt, you got this beautiful, beautiful sculpting going on, and some great paintwork done as well. It's got an orange eye, and it's got some red on the snout that just fades out into this brownish color. And I love this creamish paint job that they applied. And it just kind of looks like this. It kind of looks like tribal war paint, and it really, really gives it personality. And the teeth are made out of a plastic, like a yellowish plastic. And the mouth has some great detail. You see the roof of the mouth right there. Though well, I think they did a pretty good job. And I like how the tongue is down because I believe early copies of the original Spinosaurus to the Mattel made had the tongue sticking out as well as early releases of the Extreme Chomping T-Rex, which I do have in storage. So I'm glad they fixed that in later releases. And you got that creamish stripe going on down here all throughout the body, but then stops here. You also got some more of that creamish color on the, on the sail, or spine, or whatever you want to call it. I'm not an expert. But... The, set, the spine is made out of a rubbery material, which is a nice touch. You got lots of skin detail and everything. And unfortunately, the claws were not painted. The big, the, the hand claws were not painted at all. However, the claws on the feet were. Which is a little bizarre, but that's actually kind of common for Mattel's dinosaurs, unfortunately. They tend to take a little bit of shortcuts on the paint. And, and... There's also this brown on the top, this really dark brown, but it goes down and then it just abruptly ends right here. And that's a, again, that's a problem with a lot of these dinosaurs is that Mattel tends to make a lot of shortcuts. 
a lot of times you have a dinosaur with a very colorful paint scheme and then often the paint job would just stop either halfway or towards the tail area, which is a little bit disappointing. But also got some, you can see some little bumps in here as if like the ribs are popping out, which is a really nice touch. And this does really impress me because ever uh, since I was a kid, I always wanted the animatronic Spinosaurus. But that was a figure I was never able to get because it was way too expensive on eBay and that figure's notorious for breaking with ease. And then Mattel started making these Spinosauruses and then I started having hope and eventually I got this figure. And honestly, I'm pretty satisfied with it. And once again, to demonstrate the action feature, there's the button right here. You push it and it chomps. And what's really nice is that if you get the... I don't, I don't know what this is called, but if you get this lined up properly you can actually keep the mouth wide open so if you're into doing photography or something this is a great little feature that you can do and now for the articulation the head is on a ball joint or I should say the necks on a ball joint and there's also another ball joint here for the head the mouth can open and close but that's on the spring with the button the arms can go out a tiny bit and they can rotate and same with the legs they can go in and out a little bit as well as they can rotate but they can't go I mean maybe they can go full 360 but no I'm not gonna risk damaging the figure and the tail is on a ball joint not really that articulated but oh almost forgot the ankles can swivel as well and like I said, not really the most articulated figure in the world, but these big dinosaurs, in my opinion, aren't really meant for superposability. They're just meant to be, be big and be impressive. And now for some size comparisons. Here he is next to the high grade RX-782, the Black Series Darth Nihilus, and my previous review, the DX Choco King Brave Reading Reissue. And there you have my review on the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Extreme Chomping Spinosaurus. And honestly, I think this is a fantastic release of Mattel's dinosaurs. And I highly recommend getting this guy if you ever see him in a store and get him at a reasonable price because you better be careful when you try to get these things on eBay because they love to scalp these toys. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side.